Hello and welcome. Let's talk about eclampsia. So, what does it mean by eclampsia? Preeclampsia, when complicated with grand mal seizures, generalized tonic clonic convulsions, and or coma, is called eclampsia. Now, causes of convulsion: anoxia, cerebral edema, cerebral dyspnea, excessive release of excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate, and loss of cerebrovascular autoregulation. Now, types of eclampsia: antepartum. intrapartum postpartum and intercurrent or antenatal now clinical features unconsciousness twitching of muscles of the face tongue and limbs eyeball roll trunk opposite tonus limbs are flexed and hands clenched tongue protrudes senescence appear biting of the tongue and blood is stained for the secretions differential diagnosis epilepsy encephalitis meningitis peripheral cerebral thrombosis hypotensive encephalopathy cerebral malaria in tropics pres and intracranial tumors management of eclampsia first of all general management management control of hypotension control of convulsion and obstetrical management now general management resuscitation airway breathing circulation disability limitations and exposure in controlled environment left lateral position and prevention from fall and mouth gag if convulsion control of hypotension by anti hypertensive drugs like injection hydralazin injection labetalol control of convulsion by loading dose of magnesium sulfate 10 g mg sfo is given in which 4 g is equal to 8 ml mixed with 12 ml distilled water and given intravenous slowly 6 g is equal to 3 by 3 g intramuscular on each buttock maintenance dose Thigram per four hourly intramuscular and alternate buttock for 24 hour post delivery from from last attack. Obstetrical management: If not in labor and fetus control, in case of term delivery by induction or CS, in preterm steroid therapy and delivery, and in case of dead fetus induction of labor and delivery. If not in labor and fetus not controlled. or non reassuring fetal status then delivery should be done by cesarean section if in labor cs if any obstetric indication or arm with or without oxytocin aided with or without ventosar forceps now complications of eclampsia maternal complications tongue bite injury due to fall from bed pulmonary edema hyperparesia acute left ventricular failure hemorrhage shock sepsis dic thrombocytopenia Prematurity, intrauterine asphyxia, IUD, IUGR, and trauma during operative delivery are the fetal complications. Now, causes of maternal death due to cardiac failure, pulmonary edema, aspiration and/or septic pneumonia, cerebral hemorrhage, acute renal failure, cardiopulmonary arrest, acute respiratory distress syndrome, pulmonary embolism, postpartum shock, and peripheral sepsis. End of the topic.